Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. At last, here I am in the park in the sun. Woohoo! Right, I think it's been months since I've been able to do this in the sun. <laughs> right, okay, right, this video. Um, I'm just winging it here, sort of feels like I should need to do this. Not quite sure why, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, this one is we all need you know, to make sense of the world around us. Yep, yeah, it gives us a, a sort of a sense of, uh, we've got here, security comfort, um, a sense of what's right and wrong, to some extent a reason to get out of bed in the morning, okay, feeling of self-respect, self-esteem, comes from when we found a way of making sense of the world around us, okay, because when we don't make sense of the world around us we feel insecure and uncomfortable and all the negatives. So what I found is, is that, especially when I was younger, and I was seeking the need to make sense of the world, Looking back on it, I now see that I had a choice to make, a simplified choice. First one is choice one, is to let others tell me what to do. Yep, so I let other people tell me what to do. I do it, and I get my sense of security, and the world makes sense around me because I just do what I'm told to do. Everything feels sensible and comfortable. Okay. My other choice is to make my own choices choose for myself. Okay, now this is much more uncertain, much more unnerving, and much more scary, because I'm going to have to find my own way. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you tell him in a park. <laughs> Run away, baby. <laughs> anyway, um, where was I? Oh yeah, so this was quite a scary one, because I got to f basically find my own way of making sense in the world. But it's set a choice, so make my own choices or let others tell me what to do, do what they tell me to do. Okay? This is obviously the easy option. Okay? But a consequence of just going up to, say, my parents or a teacher or someone says, tell me what to do, and I do it, then I feel comfortable and they reward me and they say, well done, and they love me. Is that's comfortable and it's easy, but the consequence of that choice is it comes with a fear of rejection. What happens if I can't, won't do what someone tells me to do? So if I don't do what my parents say, if I don't do what my teachers say to do, I'm going to get told off. I'm going to have a sense of rejection. Okay? So I can obviously avoid that sense of rejection by getting really, really good at doing what I'm told to do. The better I am at doing what I'm told to do, the more loved I feel. But of course, the consequence of that is, is what happens if, say, a teacher asks me to do something that I can't do, or don't want to do, or doesn't work for me, I'm forced into a situation where I'm going to get rejected. Yeah? I can't avoid rejection if I can't do something a teacher or parent tells me what to do. Or a manager, for that case, as I get older. Okay? And that's the consequence of constant fear of rejection. Whereas, okay, go to choice two, make my own choices. Now, a significant consequence of that are, one, I might make a bad choice, I'll make a choice I regret, or if I've got too many choices, I'll just run away and not make a choice. Um, for me, the standard is these mobile phone tariffs, there's millions of them. <laughs> so I just go with the same tariff when I could get a much better phone if I changed. Yep, so too many choices means I don't make a choice. I can make a choice that I regret. The second I've made it, I think, damn it, I should have done something else. Or I can make a bad choice that effectively gives negative consequences to myself and other people. Okay, so I need to be able to find a way of managing those consequences if I'm going to make my own choices. Now, many moons ago, I subconsciously made this choice, make my own choices. And over the years, I've found a way of basically managing those consequences. And I'm calling that process, having written it down, how to simplify a choice. So I simplify my choices. And if I simplify my choices, I mitigate those, two consequ those consequences. Which makes choice two an easy one to make. Okay? So, so now all I'm saying is, I guess, if you want to make sense of the world, we have a choice that others tell us what to do, which carries the fear of rejection. Or, learn to make our own choices, 
deal with all the choices by simplifying the choices. And of course this one doesn't carry the fear of rejection because they're my choices. So here I'm free to, be, to discover how the world works for me and the people around me. Make my own mind up, follow my own dreams, follow my own heart without the fear of rejection. I can be me. Although obviously I have to learn how to make simplified choices to mitigate the risks. Whereas if I let other people tell me what to do, I'm going to live in the fear of rejection. Now this fear might be real, small. If I happen to be great at doing what other people tell me to do, I'm going to have a sense, security, comfort, feeling of life. Because I always do what other people tell me to do, I always fit in. I'm always accepted. I'm always loved. But that doesn't apply to everybody on this world. So I guess, yeah, now I'm doing it, I can see why I'm doing it now. So, if people out there who, who have difficulty doing what other people tell them to do, who feel as though they've been rejected, or the pressure of rejection is really getting them down, just to let you know, you can have another choice. There is another option to make your own choices. Those are the consequences. Learn how to simplify a choice. You don't have to live in fear of rejection. You don't have to live under pressure of fitting in. Okay. That's it. I hope wherever you are, it's sunny there too. Thanks a lot. Bye.